Hey guys, welcome back to Freddy's Movie Corner. My name is Freddy. Um, so I guess it's been, what, a month and a half, month, month and a half, two months since I've done a uh, pickup video um, or a haul. The, the, I, I just got a new vehicle. So, of course, I have payments on that. So my discretionary funds are not what they used to be. And then... You make that, you, you pile that on with the um, cost of, of movies, you know. I have to be more deliberate as I'm purchasing. So I'm um, looking for, trying to find more deals, waiting. Because I used to be, um, new release Tuesdays, I used to go out to the stores and pick up some stuff. But not as much anymore. Really, I haven't gone. Oof, it's been a really long time since... Um, I've gone on Tuesday for a release. I gotta say, uh, most of my stuff has been online. Yeah, well, things are tough. Everything is ex is expensive, so um, the hobbies I have to adjust my spending for my hobbies now. Um, but let's get into the stuff that I picked up. Um, it's quite a bit, of, quite a bit of stuff. Um, let me see. You know what? Actually, let me get a little drink. I got myself a little something. Uh, uh, I put that down. All right. Give me a second. Okay. I can begin. All right. So, I got this from uh, Amazon Japan. And this is the 4K with the 3D. Um, yep, so this is the only way you're going to get the, this movie in 3D, unless you pick up uh, some bootlegs on eBay. But um, the the yen is not doing so well. And I didn't really pay attention to that. I was chatting with a friend just recently, and she lives in Japan, and uh, she was saying something about the yen not doing as strong, and I had I didn't really pay attention, and I went and I double checked. So it's typically, whenever I buy any of the newer Marvel 3D movies um, that you could only get from Japan, I only I only went to one site. It was Yes Asia, and typically it would be about 67 plus 67 to maybe 71, 75, 76 in that neighborhood. You know, and then of course you place the order and then it'll be a few weeks before you got it. So that's how I did it typically. But when my friend told me about um, how the yen was performing, I uh, picked this up um, from Amazon Japan. And I think it was like 48 bucks. Now granted, it's still expensive for a 4K slash 3D. Yes, it is a very expensive. But... Comparing what I would have paid on Yes Asia, this is pretty darn cheap. And I, I think I paid like an extra, the shipping was like 21,000 yen or something like that, which was like, oh, I don't know, like 10 bucks, maybe less than 10 bucks. I can't say, I can't remember. And then there was like like an extra 500 yen or 5,000 yen for like expedited shipping. I got this like in three days from, from Japan. So I can't complain, man. So Really happy. I got this in 4K and I have the 3D. I bought this for the 3D. I already own the 4K, the US 4K of this, but the 3D is the one I was getting for, so, or looking for. So if you guys want to grab, um, let's say, Ant uh, Man, Quantumania, um, this, Guardians of the Galaxy, or Black Panther uh, 2, um, you want to get it at uh, Amazon Japan. Now, I don't want to say anything against Yes Asia. They they've been my go-to for the longest time, but so it's, sadly the yen is not doing so well. So it's better for us. So now this one, I had I've had this for a while, you know, and I totally forgot it. I have sometimes I get a bad habit in getting stuff, and I have boxes uh, pile up. Give me one second. So I get boxes that pile up. So this, in the mix-up, 
I totally forgot that I had this. So I got this a while back, but this is the first time I've opened the box. And I got this from Shout Factory. This is the Brave Archer Collection, which is how many movies? One, two, three, four, five movies. So this is with uh, Alexander Fusheng, which is the main character there. And uh, if you guys don't know, I love horror movies. I love kung fu movies, action, adventure, pretty much the whole gamut, you know. But I'm very happy that Shao Factory is doing a lot of um, martial arts movies, or I should say Shaw Brothers movies. And they're uh, releasing them uh, from Shout. Now, granted, Shout Factory has been doing some... some uh, Kung Fu movies for a long time. Um, let me see. Do I have something within reach? Um, you know what? Let me just get up for a second to give you an example of what uh, I've had. Okay. So, I got this a long time ago. Martial Arts Movie Marathon. I have part one as well. So, these are bunch of uh, older movies. Um, Defeated of Lee Khan, Shaolin Boxers, The Shaolin Plot, and The Young Dragons. Um, I've seen The Shaolin Plot. Um, I can't say I've seen any of the other ones. Young Dragons, yeah, I can't say that I've seen. But this is DVD, and this came out a long time ago. And I think this is a little more desirable. Um... And I think these are these are Golden Harvest movies, I think. I can't say it. I know it says Fortune Star on there. Shaw Factory, Fortune Star. So typically Fortune Star is uh, Golden Harvest. But, I don't know. Put you off to the side. But, suffice it to say that uh, uh, Shaw Factory has been putting out a lot of uh, martial arts movies. Alright, let me put you over here because this is a big box set right over there. I'll put you over to the side. All right, I got this from Vinegar Syndrome when they had their sale. Um, I can't remember the sale, um, summer sale or something. I can't remember. And they were doing movies for I guess ten bucks or twelve bucks. Like each day was a different sale. So I didn't uh, didn't have this, and I bought the I bought this. It's with John Lou, and he was um, the main guy from. Uh, um, Jeez, I lost my train of thought. He's the main guy from New York Ninja. And and if I if I remember correctly, he's in also um Secret Rivals and he's in something armor. Uh, I can't I can't think of the name. Um but that one's good. I, the one with the the armor one, that's with also um Wang Jang Li. Yeah? Yes. So this is a vinegar vinegar syndrome uh, archive, so it's got that like VHS kind of case, open close. Actually, really cool. I really like these. I like and this one. I don't know if you guys have had any issues with their cases. Sometimes a little tough to pull in, pull in, pull out, but this slides right in. Now, granted, plastic's on it. Maybe that's why. But yep, I will um, be checking this out at some point. Uh, John Liu. Ninja in the Claws of the CIA. Alright, the next one. Okay, the next ones I got from Amazon because they were running a sale. I've got uh, Sleepy Hollow 4K. Now, I'm a little... So, I'm not a person for... I need to have slip covers or anything like that. But, man, this is... I buy it brand new, but then it's got... I don't know if you guys could see. It's got some issues at the top. You know, it's got some folds See that right there. You could tell it's got bends, crease. Dude, you know, come on, guys. Um, I mean, the, the the price was good. I think I paid. What did I pay? I think I paid maybe 13 bucks, I think 14 bucks max. Um, but uh, this is uh, I got this brand new, of course, 4K. And I missed out on the Best Buy case, the 4K uh, Steelbook. <clears throat> I missed out on that. I could have had it, I had it in my hands, and I was like, nah, I don't need the, I don't need the uh, Steelbook case. But then 
it had the book in it. I didn't know it had a book in it. And so, meh, a buddy of mine picked it up, but I ended up getting this. I mean, it was for the price. So for me, um, the price for 4K is 14 dollars and under. If I can get it for 14 and under, great, you know, but typically all the new releases are more than that. They're at least 30 bucks. So I can, <laughs> I can wait. Or if it's maybe like a, a I don't know, like a Friday 13th movie. Yes, I'll get it on first release. I'll pay 25 or 30 bucks, you know, because I love Friday 13th. Um, but yeah, I got this. And actually, I got two movies from Amazon. And this is the other one. And this, I didn't know. This is uh, Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earth, Infinite Earth Part 1. Um, this is in great shape. They didn't bungle this. But I didn't know this was a steelbook. So, yeah, we'll see. Um, steel books. Am I a fan of steel books? Um, eh, I'm, I can go either way on steel books. Uh, it's not something that I need, I need to get. Uh, but sometimes when they release steel books, um, I try to jump on them. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I take that back. So steel books, I can go either way. Okay. Now, if it happens to be a movie that I'm really into, then I'll try to get my hands on the steel book. But I could take it or leave it, you know, or maybe, you know, if it's a steel book that I know that may, may go up in, in value, maybe I'll pick it up for, as an investment. Um, like, what did I pick up? I picked up the Friday 13th. Um, do I have it? I'm going to look for it. I picked up Friday 13th. Um, and uh, I got the steel book. I got it. From, where did I get it from? I got it from. Oof, I got them a while back, but I already had the the Friday Thirteenth uh, um, 4K that came out. But I ended up, I needed to have that steel book. It was a cool steel book, and I think I got it with the there was a record too or the soundtrack or soundtrack vinyl. I picked that up together. Um, where did I get it from? I can't think of where or it was on the site. What site was it? Was it Mondo site? I you know what I can't say. I can't say. Yeah, I'm drawing a blank. But, well, well, speaking about steelbooks like this, I have this at the top. Let me see if I can pull this down. Like, this is actually a real cool steelbook. And this is the, I got this from Best Buy before uh, they stopped carrying them. So I ended up getting uh, Pumpkinhead 4K. I think that's a pretty cool steelbook. The movie, I think, is okay. You know, but I thought that was a real cool steelbook. Um, I don't know if they're going to release the, these steelbooks again uh through walmart but i don't know but like this uh that's cool so i paid i up pay how much did i have the receipt right next to two how much did i pay for this that's silly oh no 26.99 okay i got it was 26.99 all right then oh and i remember getting creep show too at that time so and, and i saw creep show and i ended up getting the pumpkin head all right 26.99 it's not too bad for a steel book okay let me put you back all right. I don't know why I had the receipt right next to it, but I did. All right, next. I got Shin Ultraman. Um, I got this from Diabolic DVD. Um, they're one of my go-tos, Diabolic. And uh, this happens to have also the English language. So um, I'm down for some uh, kaiju action, you know. And I got to say, I have never really seen an, an, an uh, Ultraman movie, so I'm looking forward to seeing this. Um, let me get a sip. Okay. Now, these I got at Goodwill. And I think these were half off, too. So I got the other guys. You know, let me move this over to the side here. Move you over, move you over. So, I got this at Goodwill, and this was the purple. I think they were doing they were they were doing fifty percent off. Um, so it was three bucks. So, I I don't think I have it, but then it, but then again, I, I I'm very bad at keeping track of my stuff. And this is actually a funny movie. All right, so this is a movie I've never seen before. Field of Dreams. Never seen it. And and I call myself a baseball fan. So um yep, never seen it. So this was five ninety eight minus fifty percent. Let's see, does this I don't think this has got nope, no digital code. So alright, I got that. 
and I got one more. This I don't think. Oh no, 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 I did. This is a different time. This is a different time. So I got these two together and I got this at a different time. So this is brand new. And this was also 50% off $5.98, different different day or different week. And it comes with a digital. Can't go wrong. And I haven't seen Scrooge in forever. Um, I think the last time I saw Scrooge was in the theaters when it actually came out many, many years ago. All right, the next one. This is interesting. Um, this is Gamera in 3D. But like, hey, Freddy, they never released this in 3D. You're right. They never did. So there's a company. They are iPop 3D or it says Plan D from another dimension so <clears throat> i'm a big fan of gamma and then i just found out that the company they did let me see they did i think they did terror train they did last man on earth they did um house i think on haunted hill they did those black and white conversions and they're actually pretty good i started seeing one of them 3d wasn't bad it was pretty good so um they made an announcement that they converted the English language version of Gamera in 3D. So I'm going to look forward to getting uh, watching this. And I got this on their site too, Plan D website. Or you could do like a, a search, iPop 3D. So I'm really happy that uh, I got this. I think this is what, under 15 bucks? So I think that's a good deal. This, I pre-ordered this in December of last year and this is the golden triangle so <clears throat> i think i talked about uh the company before the company is called gold ninja video so i think it's a guy um or a very small company that gets the rights to some of these movies and he converts them on his own um because the i mean the case looks good you know but like the artwork let me see here the artwork you could tell it's paper you could tell there's a it's a paper cover and it's a bdr um quality um let's see that's in there uh the quality is okay so i don't i think he he talked about the movie beforehand and he said he tried to work on it a little bit um but uh, it, it was it was good. It was good. And the main character in this, oh, let me close this right. The main character in this is Yusawaki Karata. And if you guys don't know him, he's the guy that two big movies that I know him from. Uh, the one I first knew him from was a movie called Heroes of the East with Gordon Liu, and he played the 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 main ninja, the, the ninja guy that he fights at the end of the movie, and he's in this. And that's one of the reasons why I uh, pre-ordered this back when they announced it, because apparently this guy's got a lot of movies out there, and um, I didn't know. So it's, it's it's a good movie. It's not like the the fights are okay. I, I would I would put this in the Chopsaki realm. Uh, although Karata is he's more technical, but pretty much everyone else around him is. In the in the Chopsaki uh, area, I mean, there's some okay fights, you know. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't get this for the the excellent choreography, not like like a Five Deadly Venoms or anything like that. But still, it was an interesting watch. I liked it. It was it was a good watch. So if you guys haven't seen it, get a chance to get it. So the next few I got from Shout Factory. So they were doing a sale for Shout Select. And <laughs> this is a great movie, man. So <laughs> I remember seeing uh, Schwarzenegger in the theaters. Like I saw him do Conan. I saw him do Terminator. You know, um, great movies. Great. And that's what I knew him for. Then he started doing comedies like Twins, Kindergarten Cop. Um, what's the other movie? Um Twins. Ugh, I can't I can't think of the name. But this is a funny movie. Um, so they were doing a Shout Select sale on, Sh on Shout. 
and I think this was eleven ninety nine. So this is worth eleven ninety nine. Um, you know what's crazy? There's no interviews. There's no commentary. Oh, well. But I couldn't pass that one up. Now, this one, Nighthawks. It's with uh, Sly Stallone and Rutger Hauer. And apparently, this is Rutger Hauer's first U.S. movie. You know, let me move these guys over to the side a little bit. This is Rutger Hauer's first movie. This came out in 1981. So, I was born in 1970. So... I have seen quite a bit, you know, I don't want to say I'm like a wizened old man, no, but it's kind of cool growing up and seeing like the cars back in the day or having to pick up a phone, like you can only pick up the phone in the kitchen and it was connected by a cord or there was, it was a, a dial telephone, you know, um, and I would see this in this movie, you know, and I would see, I would see the big, the, the, the big cars in this movie and the way that people dress and stuff It's kind of, Nostalgic, you know, seeing these things. But this is a pretty good, uh, like, detective movie. He plays a, a, a sergeant detective, him along with um, Billy D. Williams, you know. Um, and they're going after him, Rutger Hauer, who is a uh, terrorist that goes by the name of Wolfgar. And um, he start, he's starting to hit uh, New York, so... Cool watch. I just watched this. I got it in the mail last week, and I watched this last week, and it was it was good. It was a good movie. I enjoyed it. You know, I think I only seen it once beforehand. And this, I got the 4K, the Dark Angel. So when this came first came out, it was I Come in Peace. Uh, but I guess they let me see something here. No, still called Dark Angel. Uh, yep, Dark Dark Angel. Okay, this was called. I come in peace. I think the Blu-ray of this when that came out. No, I, no, I don't think it was. I was gonna say that the 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 previous shout shout factory or screen factory, yes, yeah, screen factory um, Blu-ray said um, I come in peace, but no, there wasn't. I think when it came out of the theaters, it said I come in peace. So I started to watch this, but I I fell asleep. So uh, it looked good. First, I only watched like the first half hour. This looked pretty good. This is with with uh, Dolph Lundgren, and of course, uh, well, the main character is, is Dolph Lundgren, and you had Brian Benben who was in it, who had a show on HBO called um, Dream On, which was a great show, great great show, comedy show. All right, let me get another sip here, and that and this actually also came with a poster. Too, so I thought that was a bonus. All right, next. This I got yesterday. I got this from uh, Goodwill. Now this wasn't on sale, so it was just two ninety eight. But this is the thing: it's got three movies, man. You can't beat that. Now. This I know I have in Blu-ray. That I think I have in 4K, but I don't have the Gremlins and the New Batch. So for $2.98, dude, still new, sealed. I'm good, good with that. $2.98, great deal. Now, um, I got something. Uh, I ordered something last week from Amazon. There was a sale. So I think moving forward, I'm going to start. Um, doing, I'm gonna start sharing my computer screen, like the places I search for movies, where I look for uh, deals, things like that. But I was on uh, what site was I on? Blu-ray.com. Yeah, I was on Blu-ray.com, and they typically have sales at the top. And um, this came, this came on sale. And actually, I thought this was sold out, so I didn't think it was available anymore. Uh, so they, this this thing that came out, I think it came out like in the fall of last year. Didn't get it. I didn't want to spend the money for it. Um, I didn't think anything of it. And then just recently they announced they ha they're coming out with a, a second collection. So let me move this stuff out of the way. And then we'll talk about what I got. Put this off to the side. I'll take you over to the side. Um, put you guys over here. Yeah, the stack. Um, yeah, we'll put you away. All right. Okay. So what I got in the mail, I actually got it yesterday. I think I ordered it on, um, what day did I order it? Thursday? 
Friday, Thursday, Friday, could have been Thursday or Friday. And I got Paramount Scares Volume 1. So I'm happy to get this. And and the thing is, it was a good deal. It was fifty fifty six dollars man. So that was a good deal, guys. So sadly, I to, it only lasted one day because um, I went back to double check it and to tell, I told my buddy that it was on there and I don't know if he picked it up or not, um, but this only lasted one day. So this has got um, five movies. They did, they did a special with this. They were going there. They they talked about when they announced this. Um, they had like a secret title, you know, and that secret title was Sweeney Todd. So um, Crawl, I own own this on Blu-ray, and it's it, and I think these are the first time that these are on 4K. All of these, I think, but I, I don't know. And this apparently comes with the digital codes for all of them. Um, uh, exclusive slip covers, got a Fangoria magazine and a pen, sticker sheet. I'm not going to use the pens. I'm not going to use the sticker sheet. I will go through the Fangoria, but um, I will check out, I will check them all out. You know, I was going to see Rosemary's Baby. I was going to plan to see that today, but I didn't have a chance. I want to see that with my mom. Um, Pet Cemetery, haven't seen that since seeing it in theaters. Crawl, have not seen before. Ros Rosemary's ba Baby, I've seen once many years ago. Smile, I've seen that, I think, like maybe two years ago. Sweeney Todd, it's been a few years since I've seen that. So this is a good deal. Um, so 56 bucks, great deal. Uh, I'm really happy to have this. And I got this on Amazon. So you gotta, you have to be checking Amazon consistently. That's what I typically do. Or I just put stuff in my cart. And then uh, if it goes on sale, I get a notification. But yeah, so part two of this... Um, is going to have Friday the 13th Part 2, Breakdown, and I can't remember the other ones. <laughs> but the one that I'm looking forward to is Part 2 in 4K, Friday the 13th Part 2. So um, so I guess that's it, guys. I can't think of anything else that I picked up. Um, yep, um, let me get another sip. Let's see. I think that's it. Can't think of anything else. There's nothing else that I ordered. Um, oh, I guess I will talk a little bit about this. So, it's actually related to Star Wars. So, Star Wars Trilogy. There's the Despecialized Edition that's out there. Um, I think I bought the DVD a long time ago at a con. Uh, and I started to watch it and it looked pretty good. So apparently, and I didn't know this... That they have 4K versions of all three. So um, this weekend it's Tampa Comic Con. And I'm going to... I got tickets for Tampa Comic Con. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to hunt for the 4K versions of this. I know they're bootlegs. I know. Uh, I don't condone bootlegs and stuff. But if it's for a movie that you can't get a hold of. Or the company refusing to release them. Then I'm good with getting the bootlegs. Um, but... Um, I am going to try to get my hands on, if it's there, there's typically one guy that um, that I always go to if I'm looking for a particular movie, he'll have it. Um, he typically has, he sells figures, he sells some comics, and he sells a lot of uh, movies, TV shows, cartoons, things like that. So I'm going to see if he has it. That's going to be this weekend. Um, I get tickets for all three days, so we'll see. All right, guys. Take care, have a great day, and if you get a chance, uh, like, subscribe, and if you want to chat a little bit, please do. Uh, I love talking about movies, horror movies, you know, kung fu movies, stuff like that. So, take care guys, have a good day.